Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about Nest.js. So Nest.js framework is increasingly becoming popular among developers who want to build scalable server-side applications. So those of you who don't know what Nest.js is, you can go to this website, which is nestjs.com. And according to this website, Nest.js is a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable, and scalable server-side applications. So Nest.js fully supports TypeScript, and in the background, it uses Node.js framework and Express. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, learn how we can use Nest.js to build our REST application. Although Nest.js supports many different protocols, uh, but for start, we are going to build a REST application using Nest.js. Now Nest.js have a very extensive and very good documentation. So if you are thinking about starting uh, Nest.js, you can click on the documentation tab and you will be able to see tons of good documentation. So under the documentation, you can see uh, what Nest.js can do and what uh, are the technologies it supports. So you can see under the techniques, it can support authentication, database configuration, validation, caching, so many uh, things it can support. Also, it can support uh, GraphQL, WebSockets, microservices like Redis, MQTT, RabbitMQ, Kafka. Also, it has the support for Open API, Swagger UI, and many other good stuff. Also, if you can want to see how popular Nest.js is, you can go to the GitHub page for Nest.js, and you can see as of today, it has more than 31,000 stars. So it's becoming really popular. So let's talk about the prerequisites of learning Nest.js. So a knowledge of TypeScript and uh, JavaScript will be very important for learning Nest.js. If you have the experience of Angular, it will be a plus because it uses techniques which are already used in Angular, uh, for example. Now, because we are going to be building a RESTful API, it's good to have a REST uh, client such as Postman uh, in order to test your REST application. Also, make sure you have the latest version of Node.js installed on your operating system. So once you have all these uh, tools, we are good to go and let's get started. So what we are going to do, we are going to just open our terminal and we are going to install some uh, uh, Nest.js packages. So what I did is I created a directory. So I'm going to just go in that directory, which is called work. So the first step is to install Nest.js CLI globally in order to create our Nest.js uh, project with this CLI tool. So we are going to just uh, give this command, which is npmi hyphen g, and then just write at the rate Nest.js forward slash CLI. And in my case, because I want to uh, install uh, this globally, I, I need the pseudo privileges also. In your case, it might not be necessary. So I will just uh, press enter and give my uh, max password. And now this CLI is installed on my operating system. So once this Nest CLI is installed, we are ready to create our first project. So in order to create a new Nest project, what you need to do is you just need to give this command nest because we have installed Nest.js CLI uh, globally. This nest command is going to work and then write new and the name of your project. So we are going to create a project called car manager. So I'm going to give this name. You can give any name uh, uh, for your Nest.js project and then press enter and it's going to create a new Nest.js project for you. Now, first step here, it's going to ask you which package manager you want to use, NPM or Yarn. So I'm going to just uh, use NPM for this. So I'm going to just press Enter, which is going to create our project 
using this npm package manager so now you can see our nest js project is created and you can see it gives us hint also that we can cd into this directory and then we can just run our project using npm run start so what we are going to do i'm going to just do ls you can see uh, this project is created inside this uh, directory so i'm going to go inside this directory and then i'm going to open this project using visual studio code you can open this project with any other, other uh, editor or ide of your choice i'm going to use visual studio code here so i'm going to just open this project using visual studio code and let me open the terminal also inside visual studio code now let's discuss about the nest js project structure so uh, you will be able to see this package.json where under script you will be able to see uh, all these commands so we can start our application using npm uh, start which is going to essentially run nest start in order to start our application and you can see uh, we can test our application using uh, npm test under the hood it's going to use just for running our test you can also see uh, how you can uh, run different commands for running different kind of uh, test and coverages and uh, running your application in different environment for example development or debug or production mode you can also run lint for linting your application files now let's talk about uh, the source folder where our code is there so we are going to start with the main.ts which is the main entry point of your nest js application so here uh, you can see it's very simple it's going to just import this nest factory from the core nest js package and you just need to pass your app module which is there inside this app.module.ts uh, file we are going to just uh, see what's there in a bit but you just need to import this uh, app module and you just need to pass this uh, app module as as parameter in the create method and then you can just uh, start your application on the port for example by default it's going to start on the port 3000 but you can change this port also so app dot listen and it listens on the port 3000 by default so now we are going to go inside the module.ts folder so app dot uh, module.ts which we have imported inside our main.ts so this app dot module.ts uh, file is going to contain the implementation of application root module now there are three important building blocks of a nest js application and these are called controllers providers and modules so three building blocks controllers providers and modules and you will be able to see one file for each component you will have the controller.ts file you will have the module.ts file and you will have the service.ts file so services are also called providers in nest js module.ts is going to contain the implementation of your application's root module and then app.controller.ts is going to contain the implementation of a basic nest.js controller with just one route so by default it's going to just uh, listen on this get route and it's going to just uh, return you hello world so controllers are used to uh, just define your end points so it will be a main uh, interface for your application so you can define end points into the controllers now the app.service.ts file is going to uh, contain the implementation for your endpoint for example so for example some uh, rest request comes into your application it's going to uh, just go here and then this controller in this controller you can see there is an instance of app service 
and and whatever you want to return as a response for that rest request you can just provide the implementation of your response inside the service so let's go inside the service here we just define the uh, implementation about your uh, service methods right now also you will be able to see for example when you go to the app.modules.ts this kind of uh, annotation here so these are called the decorators so if you are familiar with the angular you might have seen these kind of decorator decorators right so because we are in the module uh, decorator here we just provided at the rate module and then inside the module you can provide the imports controllers and providers so provider essentially are the services right so we have imported the app dot service and app dot controller here and uh, here we provide the mapping of all the controllers you have inside your application and all the providers you have in your application and sometimes you need to import different kind of uh, files in your nest.js and those imports we are going to do here so we are going to see uh, more about imports in uh, the later part of uh, our uh, application right so uh, as i said you have services modules and controllers also you have the app.controller.spec.ts file so this will be uh, your unit test file so here you can write your unit tests okay and you can also define for example service.spec.ts uh, file for testing your services and for your integration test you have this test folder so here you can uh, uh, run your integration test and in next js it is called end to end test okay so here you can uh, test your whole application using uh, just and uh, under the hood it uses super test for your integration tests so now let's run our application you just need to write an npm uh, start here which is going to uh, run our application and once you see this message which says nest application successfully started you can go to your browser and then just write localhost uh, colon 3000 it's, and it's going to return hello world right you might be wondering uh, this is our typescript project so we haven't transpiled our uh, uh, typescript into the javascript code and uh, how it's running uh, uh, directly using npm start in the background nest.js is going to uh, take care of transpiling and then running your application directly using npm start if you want to just explicitly build your project you can give this command npm run build is going to transpile your typescript files into uh, javascript uh, but if you directly use npm start also it's going to transpile uh, directly your files and it's going to run your project for example i'm going to just stop this application i'm going to go to the service.ts uh, file and here we have the get hello world which is returning this hello world to us i'm going to just add hello world uh, from uh, me and then I'm going to just uh, restart our application. It's going to directly transpile our TypeScript code and it's going to start our application on the port uh, 3000. So let's refresh this page. Now it says uh, hello world from me. So this is how you can create your first Nest.js application. In the next video, we are going to see what we are going to be implementing we are going to be implementing a rest api so we are going to see how we can create our own rest api using nest.js i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video